In the vast, endless sea of stars, a lone traveler carries humanity's hopes into the unknown. Meet Voyager 2, a tiny spacecraft, yet a giant leap for our species, still journeying deeper into the cosmic abyss. For nearly half a century, Voyager 2 has been our cosmic scout, pushing past every boundary we once imagined. Tucked inside is a golden record, a time capsule of Earth's music, greetings and images, drifting through space like a message in a bottle. We sent it forth to chase mysteries, to reveal the secrets of the universe, and to glimpse what lies beyond our blue world. But then, something extraordinary happened. Voyager 2 sent a signal that made the world hold its breath. It was a haunting farewell, a final glance at the pale blue dot it once called home. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi movie. It's unfolding right now, billions of miles from where you sit. Voyager 2 has crossed the ultimate frontier, the edge of our solar system, into the wilds of interstellar space. What it found out there is both breathtaking and a little terrifying. Imagine standing at the edge of a shadowy forest, taking that first step inside. Suddenly, the world is transformed. That's exactly what Voyager 2 did. Ventured into the cosmic unknown and sent back a message across the void. Its message reveals not just the mysteries out there, but also profound truths about the planet we left behind. The news rippled through the scientific world, sparking awe and alarm. Decades of straining to catch Voyager 2's faint whispers led to this astonishing moment. The data was richer and more unsettling than anyone dared to predict. It exposed a wild frontier where the sun's gentle touch fades and a storm of cosmic energy rages. Voyager 2 didn't just send numbers, it sent a warning from the edge of forever. Space isn't silent or empty, it's alive, electric, and sometimes perilous. And here we are, sheltered in a delicate bubble, gazing out at the universe's wild unknown. To grasp Voyager 2's message, we must appreciate the audacity of its journey. Launched in 1977, it took advantage of a rare planetary alignment, a grand tour that happens once every 176 years. Using gravity assists, Voyager 2 visited Jupiter, revealing violent storms and new moons. It then flew by Saturn, capturing breathtaking views of its rings and studying the mysterious moon Titan. Unlike its twin, Voyager 2 continued to Uranus and Neptune, the only probe to visit these ice giants. At Uranus, it found a pale, tilted world with a bizarre magnetic field. At Neptune, it discovered the great dark spot and geysers on Triton. With its planetary mission complete, Voyager 2 set its sights on the stars. It became our first true interstellar scout, measuring the solar wind and searching for the edge of our cosmic home. Its journey is a testament to human curiosity and the drive to push beyond the known. As Voyager 2 ventured farther, it approached the edge of the heliosphere, the sun's magnetic bubble shielding us from interstellar radiation. Scientists had theories about this boundary, the heliopause, but no direct evidence. Voyager 2 became our scout, searching for the edge of our solar system's safe harbor. In the 2010s, its data began to change. The solar wind weakened and cosmic rays increased. The probe was nearing the threshold. The tension was high. Would the transition be smooth or violent? Voyager 2, powered by decaying plutonium, was fragile and its signals faint. In late 2018, the instruments measuring solar particles flatlined. The solar wind was gone. Simultaneously, cosmic ray detectors spiked. On November 5, 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause. It had left the solar system, entering the space between the stars. Only the second human-made object to do so, it stepped through the door into interstellar space. The silence from the solar wind was replaced by the roar of the cosmos. Humanity had a new vantage point. What does it mean to say Voyager 2 turned back? It's a poetic way to describe a profound scientific event. The probe didn't reverse course. It's still speeding away from us. But for the first time, 
it could look at our heliosphere from the outside. Its plasma science experiment measured the sharp boundary between the sun's plasma and the denser, colder plasma of interstellar space. The data showed a clear, distinct line, not a chaotic zone. Voyager 2 had passed from one environment to another, measuring both sides. This act of turning back was an act of measurement, providing ground truth for scientists. The data confirmed the shape of our heliosphere. Not a perfect sphere, but likely comet-shaped, compressed by the interstellar wind. Voyager 2's findings refined our models and revealed the true nature of our protective bubble. For the first time, we had direct evidence of our sun's safe space in the galaxy. Voyager 2 became our eyes, looking back at the home we can no longer see. As Voyager 2 approached the unknown, scientists felt a quiet apprehension. The main fear cosmic radiation. Interstellar space is filled with high-energy particles, deflected by our sun's magnetic field. Would Voyager 2's electronics survive the onslaught? If it went silent, we'd know deep space was deadly. Beyond the probe's safety, there was a deeper concern. What would the data reveal about our own place in the universe? If cosmic rays outside were far more intense than predicted, it would mean our bubble of safety is even more fragile than we thought. We were sending a probe into a medium we'd never sampled, facing unknown dangers, magnetic fields, plasma waves, dust. The whispers from Voyager 2 could have confirmed our worst fears, that the universe is fundamentally inhospitable to life. Then, the truth arrived, carried on a faint signal, traveling for over 17 hours to Earth. Voyager 2 had survived the crossing. Its instruments worked, and the data was stunning. The cosmic ray intensity was far higher outside the heliosphere. The shield was real, and we were now beyond it. Dr. Ed Stone, Voyager's project scientist, remarked, We are seeing a definitive change in the environment. The probe had left the sun's atmosphere and entered the galactic weather system. Deep space is harsher than we imagined. Future missions must contend with intense radiation. But the data also revealed a magnetic barrier just inside the heliopause, an extra layer of defense. Our solar system has a more complex shield than we thought. Voyager 2 confirmed a dual reality deep space is dangerous, but our home is robustly protected. The heliosphere is not just a bubble, but a dynamic, structured shield. The truth in Voyager's static, we live in a special, protected place. It's a humbling realization, thanks to a machine from the 1970s. Voyager 2 changed how we see the sky. Voyager 2's confirmation paints a new picture of our universe, a more hostile place than our solar system's calm. The constant rain of high-energy particles is a cosmic storm. Life elsewhere would need similar protection magnetic fields, thick atmospheres, or their own heliospheres. The habitable zone is about more than temperature, it's about radiation. Earth is unique, shielded by a multi-layered defense. But the universe is not dead, it's alive with energy. The cosmic rays Voyager measures are echoes of creation, born in supernovae, forging the elements of life. The danger and the potential for life are two sides of the same coin. Complex life may be rare, requiring long-term stability and protection. Voyager 2 hasn't found life, but it's given us a crucial clue. Look for planets with robust shields. The universe is wild, energetic, and alive. Voyager 2's story is far from over. As long as its power lasts, it will send us postcards from the void. It's our first true interstellar probe, reporting on the galaxy for years to come. Each new piece of data is a treasure from a place we cannot yet reach. Voyager's legacy is a reminder of the value of pure exploration. We set out to explore the planets and discovered something fundamental about our place in the cosmos. Voyager 2's confirmation of the harsh interstellar environment is not a reason to retreat, but a challenge. It's up to the next generation to build better shields and design ships for the journey ahead. 
Voyager 2 has shown us the edge of our home and that our journey into the universe has only just begun. The stars are calling, and because of Voyager, we know a little more about the path ahead.